Hello. Hi. So today we would like to present, we would like to taste with you guys together uh, Brazilian uh, guava or uh, also feijoa. We found these beauties in um, visiting an organic gardener that does vegetables and agroforestry and he had in the lines also feijoa and because it's a bit of a rare fruit um, it's a bit expensive it's organic and it costed 12 euro a kilo so it's also interesting to you know to produce and, and sell and uh, there are many many varieties that are used also as a hedge because they are i think drought resistant they are very famous here and uh, in new zealand especially as well and uh, they come from latin america they can be like a small shrub to a small tree so we really can go to a couple meters uh, tall but also kept this uh, small and it makes beautiful flowers that smell like incredibly exotic um, and you can eat the petals still having fruits so it's not a problem and um, you can get them from seed you can grow them from seed but then you don't have the you know the, the security that it's uh, you're gonna it's gonna have big fruits or you can graft it but you can also multiply it by by cuttings but, uh, it's not such a success rate so today since we have fruits we're gonna also keep the seeds uh, but i show you how how to eat them and uh, the skin is slightly uh, bitter but has a lot of taste and uh, the fruit itself it's an incredible mix of tropical taste is like uh, pineapple guava jimmy says root beer and like kid toothpaste of like fake chemical goodness it's uh, it's very very strong the bag where where we had the feijoa was uh, was like giving such a beautiful scent very tropical is the one of the only fruits that have such a tropical flavor and smell here in the in the temperate climate I can get one also like this it's like a small egg size it can be big, bigger and also smaller and you see the seeds are very small these here are the seeds from which you can grow a plant you can graft them as well and uh, it's good to know also that there are a couple uh, varieties that are auto fertile but many are uh, mm, they need, they need uh, cross pollination so yeah. they, they need uh, more than one, uh, one plant usually you would eat this either with a spoon with a spoon and taking uh, the inside but who, who somebody that likes the, the skin can just like pop it in their mouth but otherwise just like this it's a bit gritty the, the texture really like a guava and you can see the texture almost like a um, quince like a pear the instead of a pear yeah. there oh my god pineapple so strong Wow, I really like pineapple smell, yeah. Mm. It's very, very chic, very sophisticated, it tastes very complicated and uh, complex, not complicated, very complex and uh, sophisticated, really. Like, uh, I can see this in desserts and. Mm. I want to keep the seeds. Mmm. So, either we just take, because there are not so many here, we you take them out that like part, this. We do it with the rest. Yeah. But you can it. also eat this one. It's not, it's not so bitter, it's more like very aromatic, like even more complex. It tastes like, a, like an herb, like a, like a mix of um, even Mediterranean herbs. So the taste per se, it's already an experience the inside. I don't know how would you describe it. Really aromatic. Mm-hmm. 
has like a stronger it's aroma. It's really not bad, this skin. It's not bad, it's not, it's not bitter or something, but it's really like rosemary or something, like strong, like essential oils. Here it seems like it has a lot of seeds. Should we stop the video and then just get the seeds? Yeah. Or do you want to get the seeds on video? No, it's okay. Let's see. Yeah. We're gonna grow these. Some good plants coming up. And we use this to try and get the seeds out and the pulp yeah. separated. Alright, let's get to work. 